With the presidential election looming, the pressure is on in Mali. The previous 18 months have seen a coup, the loss of much of the north of the country to Islamist rebels and a French-led intervention that eventually forced the militants out, paving the way for Sunday's vote. Even though the transitional government has had just a few months to organise the poll, it remains confident the future is bright. We plan to organise the election on the 28th of July, but we plan to succeed. And this is possible. Whatever the difficulties we face on D-Day, we expect we will succeed on July 28 and afterwards. Le rendez-vous du 28 et au-delà. In all, there are 27 candidates. Some, however, have already called foul, while others have criticized what they say has been a badly organized vote. Others, such as Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, feel the vote must go ahead. I think we are in a particular situation. People all over the world, voices more legitimate than mine, say that we must get out of the transition. We need a legitimate base. In the northern city of Gao, which endured Sharia law under Islamist rule until January, election cards were still being distributed this week. And while polling stations are not yet ready, the people seem optimistic. Gao is all over the place, trashed. We really want peace. We want a president who will bring us peace. This election is important because we want a change, a change that Mali has been waiting for for some time now. We all have lived these events. The whole world saw what happened in northern Mali. Despite the problems in organising the vote in such a short space of time, EU observers have said the conditions are acceptable. And it's hoped that Sunday will be the first step for Mali on its return to democracy and stability.